guys, what's up? How's it going? So as you can tell <laughs> by the title of this video, um, I'm going to be telling my first kiss story. So if all of you who love first kiss stories, you are not going to be <laughs> you are not going to be ashamed of this one, I don't think. So um I guess to get it started, um, 2016, it was December, like two days before Christmas, if I can remember right. Um, okay, so I'm going to start, I'm going to start from the very beginning, all right? <laughs> the very how it all went down. So, it was Christmas break of 2016, and I was super bored, because... It was Christmas break, didn't have nothing to do, so I was bored. So I posted on Instagram, I'm like, like my status if you want to talk or hang out or something like that. I don't remember, like it's been three years, I don't remember, remember exactly what I said, but something along those lines. And um, so a lot of people liked it, so I messaged, you know, everybody. But there was this one girl that I knew a little bit. She went to Snow Canyon High School. I don't even remember her name. And I don't even remember the girl's name that I kissed. I don't even remember her name. It's been so long ago, three years. But um, the girl that I kissed, her sister is the one that I messaged because I was friends with her on Instagram. And... I'm like, hey, we should like hang out or do something. And she's like, actually, I have a sister who's around your age and she's going to Dixie State University. And I was like, oh, okay. And by the way, this girl that was talking to me, she was like, at the time, she was like a junior or a senior in high school, I don't remember. But her sister was my age, so she was like a year or two out of high school. And so, her sister, yeah, she messages me. She's like, hey, I have this sister who's coming down for Christmas break. She's going to be start going to Dixie in January. She's moving down here. I'm like, sweet. She's like, you should hook her up. Like, I'll give her, I'll give you her number. And I'm like, all right, sweet. So she gave me her number. And I messaged her. I'm like, hey, your sister so-and-so said that we should go on a date. <laughs> And she's like, yeah, that sounds like super fun. She told me a little bit about you. You seem like a really nice guy, blah, blah, blah. And so I'm like, all right, I'll pick you up tonight around 6. And she's like, yeah, sounds good. I'll give you my address, blah, blah, blah. So that all happened. 6 o'clock came around. I picked her up. And then we went to dinner. I don't even remember where we ate. I think we ate at... Um, uh, it was some kind of like fast food type place. It was like, oh, where was the place called? It was like, uh, let's just say Fabulous Freddy's, something like that. So we ate there. I don't even know if that's a food place. but was some along those lines. We ate there. And then after we ate, we went bowling. And that was super fun. And I th she actually beat me in bowling. She beat me in bowling. And we came to a conclusion that whoever lost the game of bowling gets to decide what they want to do next during the date. And so she won, so that means I lost, so I got to pick what we wanted to do next. And I kid you not, right when we came back in the car, she's like, all right, Connor, uh, what do you want to do? And I kid you not. <laughs> I kid you not, I said, well, I've never kissed anyone before. And she started to laugh. She's like, ha, so you want to kiss then or what? And I'm like, yeah, but let's just drive and get in a better, more, um, like, by herself place. Like, not so public place. So we went... We went to Dixie Rock, I think. Yeah, we went to Dixie Rock. And this time it was like, 
eight thirty ish, nine p.m. and you know, winter time that's super dark outside. It gets dark at five p.m. But winter time that's like midnight time, eight thirty nine. And so we go to Dixie Rock and and uh, <laughs> makes me just laugh just to even think about it and tell you. But um, yeah, so we're at Dixie Rock. She's like, "All right." Here's your time. It's time to chop chop. It's kiss time. Or she didn't say that, but I know that's what she was thinking. And we were getting ready to kiss. And I was, because I've never, I'm just going to say this right now. Before this, I never kissed anyone in my life besides like my mom and my sister. Because that's family, of course. That's normal. But like, as of like girls, never kissed any before this so I was practicing <laughs> I was practicing how to kiss like like this is the funny part <laughs> oh man so we both close our eyes and we both start to lean in and I kid you not I got like my two fingers I was pra I was practicing I was pra practicing kissing so I can do it right because no one doesn't want to make a mistake on their first kiss right and so I did that before and then when I went to kiss her I missed <laughs> I kissed her right here on the chin and <laughs> she started to laugh she's like you missed I'm like, I know, we both started to laugh a little bit, and then about a minute later, we do it again, this time we connect, and if I even remember right, it went on for like a minute or two, if I remember right, it probably didn't even go that long, I'm just exaggerating, but, and then after, I, I tell her after the kiss, I'm like, so what would you rate my kiss, and first kiss she's like oh i'd probably say a five out of ten she's like but it's not bad for a first kiss i'm like yes <laughs> but yeah and then after that after my after the kiss we we uh, wait we, we went to walmart we got some hot chocolate we went to her place and had hot chocolate and talked a little bit longer and then that was the date went back home and that was the only time ever, that was the only time ever that we ever did something together. That was the only time, because then she got busy, I was preparing to go on a mission shortly after that, so. And she wasn't even a member of the church, so, yeah. But, yeah, that's my first kiss story. It's pretty entertaining. If It was kind of, it was kind of awkward. You had to be there in the moment. It was funny, though, like, I, I could tell like we we texted each other like after the date like like a few weeks but we didn't even do anything so i don't even remember her name i just remember she had a couple tattoos and i remember she smelled like cigarette smoke <laughs> well her jacket did because her family sm she doesn't smoke but her family did but yeah that's my first kiss story <laughs> all right give this video a thumbs up Subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more videos from me, feel free. There's Fort videos. There's uh, videos of my mission. A whole bunch of videos. Videos of the new house. Uh, so many. So check out my YouTube channel, Connor Gentry. All right. I hope everyone has a great night. Be safe out there. And remember, you are all loved. Don't forget that. If you don't love yourself, start to love yourself now. And then everything else will come take place of itself, alright? If you guys want me to do more dating videos, let me know. I'm becoming... If you want to hear my opinion about dating and like, you know, like what to do on first dates or what to do when you want to be in a... How to be in a relationship, like, I've never... Yeah... So just let me know. I love to make those videos, alright? Alright, well, we'll see ya. Bye-bye.